Hey everybody, this is Joseph S. Samiego, the author of the Carolingian Age Fantasy Book Series, and I'm back again with another short history video. Uh, this one I'm elaborating a little bit more on the Dare Stones from the Lost Colony video. Now these Dare Stones were kind of rumored to be created by Eleanor Dare, who was the mother of Virginia Dare, who was the first uh, English person born in what is now the United States. Now, these stones were hand carved and created to kind of look as if they were place markers or a, a story of these lost colonists traveling. The first one was found near the Chowan River, uh, actually near a place that was marked kind of, I don't want to say if it was found near that place, but the Chowan River, the mouth of the Chowan River actually does have what is called Site X which was marked on a map and covered up. And this was thought to have been a possible location for a fort that may have been built in the future, you know, in their future, uh, after the colonists had settled and, and got kind of adjusted, they were gonna go more inland. Uh, that was thought to be a possible fort. Also a possible settlement after the colonists left Roanoke. It's only about 55 miles from Roanoke. And the stone was found within that vicinity of the Chowan River, which actually would lead up into Virginia. So what's special about these stones is that only the first stone, and there's quite a few that were made, that were made, only the first one is the one that cannot be verified as a fake. All the other subsequent stones found at the first one was, was created and carved in the 20th century by a man named Eberhardt. And the person that was kind of investigating the stones from Eberhardt was a professor named Pierce who, who was taken 100% by the hoax and eventually kind of started feeling different, started noticing some in, irregularities and irregular, excuse me. And when he confronted Eberhardt, Eberhardt kind of basically said, yes, that I am fooling you, but... You know, I got my money, and you are now laughingstock, so you can't do anything. So it really came down to to this complete just destroyal, the destroying of his career, uh, of Pierce's career, and of all legitimacy of these stones, which for all the subsequent stones after the original is fine. The original one, however, has been somewhat lumped in that same category. However... There is no evidence to say that it was a 20th century forgery. Just like it's very hard to say that it's not. It's really anyone's guess. However, that stone is really interesting for several factors. It does say that Virginia Dare and Eleanor Dare's husband have passed by that point and that they kept moving and that they did work with some of the indigenous peoples to get adjusted as best they could. But many had passed on. So it was a grim tale and one that said, please keep looking, but we're going this way. Hope to see you. And as we know, they never did. Many tales. So that's it for the Dare Stones. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.